Hi guys, so obviously last week I was reviewing the Star Skin Eye Patches and I thought this week I'm going to go and get an affordable version because if you've seen that video, which I will link, uh, you'll notice that the price was the sticking point for me. So they were 8 50 for it turns out two packets of them, I thought it was just one, um, but no it's $8.50 for two packets, but I still think $4.25 for a single use for the results I got was... I'm, I'm not into that. So today I was in Superdrug and we have the Superdrug edition of refreshing hydrogel eye patches with sea algae and caffeine and licorice, which is in the other one. So these are made in Korea. Uh, they are Looping Bunny stamp. Um, and these cost a grand total of 149 for um, a packet. Admittedly only get a single use but 149 and these are also on the offer buy one get one half price as well so if you buy two of these it's going to cost you... I'm going to do the maths because I'm tired um, so it's going to cost you £2.24 if you buy two packets of these, um, which, it's, you know, that's not bad. That's still going to be a, almost a quarter of the price of the Star Skin one. And I actually think the packaging looks a little bit nicer on this one for, um, you know, what I'm going to do anyway. So it's got the same tear bit, which actually tears. No scissors required this time. But it's also got a seal here as well. Um, although I don't think I've actually <laughs> tore far enough down. I've not. Hang on. There we go. So this will be quite good for when I'm doing my 15 minutes with just the one on. The other one's still going to be sealed up and fresh. Um, and also, they're kind of packaged within here. They're not just kind of like slushing around in the bottom like they were with the other one. Um, so instantly this is less messier it's not dripping all over me although I do now have to figure out how to actually <laughs> actually get to them okay so I'm gonna just lift one out just now oh okay it's an actual ah okay these definitely are looking snazzier um, and easier to deal with so again it's sandwiched but they're different layers have different colors so you can actually tell them apart. Um, let's see if there's a right or wrong way around. There's not. Okay, cool. So, plastic layer, goodbye. Quite chunky layer, goodbye. And then we're left with this little fishnetty guy. Oop. Now instantly this feels really, really cooling. Um, it's not wet like the other one. Um, and it feels much more secure on my face. So the other one kept coming away here. This doesn't really feel like it's going to do that quite as much. And it doesn't feel like it's going to fall off my face. Like if I'm touching or pulling at it, it's still staying on. It lifts up a little bit at the edge, but I wouldn't be uncomfortable walking around my house like this. So, let me see. Actually, I've put that inside corner a little bit too high. Okay, that's better. So it's 18.24, so I'm going to give this... 15 minutes and we'll come back and we will compare my two sides. In the meantime, I can pop this one safely back in its little sealed house so it's not losing any of its goodness. Okay, so I'm a tiny bit late, whoopsie, for taking my patch off my eye. I was right, this does stay on so much better than the other ones. I kept finding myself going like this and realising it's it's not came away at all. I'm just doing this for, for no reason. And it stayed feeling cool as well, which is kind of awesome. So let's get this zoomed in. We'll take it off and compare the two eyes. Um, so it does say to um, massage in any residue. I'm going to go for tapping. Um, but there isn't half as much residue as the other one. It still definitely feels like something has gone into my, you know, has gone into my skin. Okay. So, I mean, I definitely do see a difference around here. I feel like the line between where my hair, my bag stops and my normal skin starts is, is definitely softened. Um, I think we're a bit brighter in here, a bit less creased, 
but let's look in my mirror instead of in my camera lens. Now I think this has had at least the same impact as the more expensive one. Um, I definitely think the skin looks a little bit firmer um, and my eye area looks a bit more lifted. Uh, so I'm definitely going to do the other side. I definitely can see me buying this again if I'm totally honest. And yeah, I'm going to put this as a good buy product. I mean, especially compared to the other one, it's almost a quarter of the price. It's easier to open. It's easier and less messy to use. And I think I'm genuinely convinced it's had a bigger impact than the Star Skin one. So save your money, um, buy the Superdrug one. Um, just all around easier to use and I think better effects. Uh, if you get any questions, please leave those down below and I will get back to you. I'm going to go and put on the other one and chill out and watch a movie.